The Institute of Medicine offers a guiding definition framing public health as what we as a society do collectively to ensure the conditions in which people can be healthy. This sets the stage for our exploration of the multidimensional concept of the public within public health. In this definition, two key terms stand out, society and collectively. We see a clear emphasis on the responsibility for a healthy society going beyond individuals and being dependent on the collective role everyone has to play. As such, we can consider the public in public health as a collection of people, a space for action, and a set of values. Taking a cue from the words of Hippocrates, it is more important to know what sort of a person has a disease than to know what sort of a disease a person has. The public as a collection of people is not just about looking at diseases. Public health is interested in understanding the characteristics of people from diverse backgrounds and how these characteristics interact to influence their health outcomes. This concept is referred to as the determinants of health. So, the question becomes, why are children under five years old at the greatest risk of malaria? Why are people dying of cholera outbreaks more in one community compared to others? Why did countries such as Spain experience the highest number of COVID-19 deaths compared to the rest of the world? The answers to these questions lie in the study of the distribution of populations, their characteristics, the presence and absence of diseases, their health status and indices in fields such as epidemiology, which gives expression to the public as a collection of people. Then there's the action part. Think traffic laws, seat belts, bike helmets, pedestrian crossings, accessibility for physically challenged, bike paths, smoking prohibitions, green energy, youth community centers. All the things we do collectively to keep everyone safe in public spaces. These interventions entrust the safety of each individual to the collective actions they take in public. It's not just about individual choices, it's about creating an environment that promotes health. Simultaneously, the public in public health encapsulates a set of values that transcends mere scientific inquiry. These values, including social justice, equity, inclusiveness, and evidence-based approaches, form the ethical framework guiding our commitment to fairness, beneficence, and empowerment of communities. The Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, seeking to address global developmental challenges by 2030 are a great example of how these values can be embedded in interventions. They enshrine a wholesome commitment to providing the best quality of care to each community of interest. In summation, the public in public health transcends individual concerns, encompassing entire communities. It signifies that everyone in the community shares the responsibility to make it a healthy place for all. This means dealing with all the different things that affect people's health and doing it in a way that is fair and just.